Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to use the player camera. This is the new tile we got in the game, by the way. We do this one. So we got this in here. There's no option, so don't bother with that. Let me show you how to use this. Let's get a couple of switches in here. There's one. And there's two. Allow reuse. Allow reuse. Let's start with the first one. Fade camera. What this does is that this allows you to change the color of your picture from the player's perspective. <coughs> and it works in all of the things. Uh, let's make sure we say display to activator only. We want that. <coughs> now the alpha part, this is the part you're going to keep an eye out for. Uh, when this is maxed out, it'll fill up the entire screen with that color. And you won't be able to see squat. It's a zero. I think it does the same thing as if you really won't see out of it. Okay? So keep that in mind. Let's do um, let's do green. But we're gonna knock it down to that. We'll do max green. We'll knock this down to about I guess 180. There we go. You can also change the fade time too. We can make that about a second. So we go over here, we push this button. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty green. <clears throat> and you can adjust how intense you want that, by the way. Just be careful how you set it up. Basically, how that works. Now let me show you the other uh, feature. Fade from to camera. This is another feature. Remember that color uh, we did earlier? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, set that up actually. Knock this down about 180 again. And with this, <coughs> not to down to zero. All zeros here will turn the screen back to normal. Okay? Make that about a second. Split activator only. Come on, load up. So now when I activate this, it makes it green. But if I activate this, go some green back to normal. thing about this tab is that let's say you want to run multiple colors throughout your level. So you can set this up at certain spots and have it be one color for one spot and then you can change it to a different color for a different spot and so on and so forth. So you can actually have uh, different shades of color as you go through your level from your player's perspective. Uh, it's pretty cool when you know how to use it properly. <coughs> okay? So that's one feature. Camera shake. This is interesting. You can change how much scale, the angles, the offset, all that stuff, the power. I'm going to put this up to about a second so we see better. You can change what kind of camera shake you want. You can play a sound during it also. I'll show you how that works.
Come on, load up. It's not that big of a level. So now we activate this. Let's do that again. And one more time. Now what's cool about that is that you can use that for certain sequences where you want the air level to shake. <clears throat> and you can do it for as long as you want to affect uh, what you could do. You can, you can hook a repeater up to that thing and have it keep constantly shake throughout one entire section. Then have that repeater stop when you get uh, to a certain point level. So you can do that with it. <clears throat> if you want that epic, you know, damage sequence or oh my god what's going on sequence, you can do that now. That's another cool feature. Now let's get to the one you guys really want to see. Set environment. Set the environment back. So let's do... Night vision. And we'll set it back to normal. God, the load times get longer and longer when they add stuff to this. Okay, now before I activate that, let me go to all these rooms to show you that they all have default lighting in them. They all have default environments. So now when we activate this, night vision and go throughout the entire level with this night vision. And then of course when we push this other switch, turns it off. So now you can make those world famous Call of Duty levels you always like to see. And that's pretty much it. <clears throat> so yeah, play around with it. Have fun with it. Do new stuff. See what you can come up with it. And that being said, hope you all enjoyed this video, and you all take care.